What would you think if you saw young you and young you could see your life now? What do you think would surprise you the most? I don't know if I'd be very surprised, honestly. I had a plan, I worked really hard, and I had faith that it would be this way, you know, for the most part. I think, I think my biggest surprise would be the games we lost because um, I never expect to lose. <laughs> you think you should have just been undefeated your whole career? Right, right, that, that'd be, <laughs> be like, dang, how'd you lose though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think for a lot of people who would read your story, something that they would say, I mean, there's several places that other people would have been surprised because of course they don't have the confidence that you have. Nobody has the confidence that you have, I'm convinced, which is probably what has made you great. But you came from a Compton High School that almost lost its accreditation, I believe, before you graduated and then go on to Stanford. So what do you remember about that and learning that you were gonna get a chance to go to Stanford and, and what do you think allowed you to have that kind of transition? Well, well, it was stressful senior year with the accreditation thing, you know, it was, it was frustrating because they were like, hey, um, if we don't pass this, then none of you guys get to go to college because, you know, none of your credits count. And it's was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, hold up. You know, how does that work? <laughs> I, I did the high school I thing I did here. the whole thing. <laughs> like, you're telling me with a month to go that it might not count, you know? pretty unfair. Thankfully it worked out and um, I'd say my parents, you know, I th think good parents, you know, they instilled great values and, and good work ethic, gave me the resources that I needed, uh, even though sometimes the schools didn't have the resources that you needed, you know, my, my parents tried their best to make sure, you know, I had access to, to libraries and, and a way to get there and um, we had technology at home, you know, at least the best they could provide. Um, and you know, if you have access to information, it's on you to, to, to get it into your head. And then another surprise move in your career, all of a sudden you were wide receiver to corner. Right, you, right. You went to the dark side. Right, 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 right. Well, I mean, it, it was different because I always felt like that was the right move. You know, you, you have fun on offense, but you don't control your own destiny. You don't, you, you, you need so many things to go right just for you to get to show your talent. You know, I mean, you'd be a receiver and you'd be wide open, but it's like, Oh, the O-line didn't block, or the quarterback missed the read, or, or, you know, or he failed, or, you know, just so many things that don't go your way, or the call wasn't for you, et cetera, et cetera. But on defense, it's like every play, I can affect the play. You know, I can keep my guy from catching it. I can run all the way to the other field and get involved in the tackle. I always feel like I got a chance to, to make an impact. And, you know, on offense, I don't feel like you always feel like you got that shot. And then you end up a fifth round pick, which I know you did not agree with at right. the time, and right. now, shows you were correct that was a that was a little late <laughs> right 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 a little. <laughs> just a wee bit late right. on picking you just a tad but you went from being a fifth round pick to now having led the nfl in interceptions in your time in the league what do you think made people overlook you and then what made you prove them so wrong well i think it was a transition late transition um to corner my senior i mean my junior year uh, that was probably a big part of it. You know, people like to see guys that are established and played the position for a really long time. Um, I had a good, good senior year. My junior year was kind of up and down. Uh, and I think it was just the school you go to. You know, Stanford isn't really known for producing NFL players. And, you know, that's part of it. You know, if you go to LSU or Bama or, you know, USC or, you know, you, they're kind of known for that. So you get a bit, bit more of uh, the pedigree. But, you know, at the end of the day, I. I believed in what I could do and, and thank goodness the Seattle Seahawks and Pete Carroll and, and John Snyder believed in it and they gave me an op and you know I tried to take advantage of it. And so we talked about some of those changes in your career. How do you think you've changed since coming into the league? I've gotten a lot more mature in, in that uh, you understand your impact as not only a player but off the field as a leader in, in your way that you can impact the team outside of your play. You know, you can play the game at a high level and produce on the field, but there's also, you know, going out of your way to make sure other guys are comfortable in the scheme. Other guys have the same information that you do, have the same knowledge that you do. Um, and I think that's the way I've, I've, I've kind of adapted as, as time has gone on. It's just making sure you're, you're a great teammate and making sure that you're you guys understand everything you understand. And that's not even just in terms of football knowledge, just that's in terms of investments, um, in terms of uh, how you treat people off the field, how you take care of your body, uh, how you take care of your mind, you know, and how you get help when you need it, et cetera, et cetera. And what are the ways that you think you've been able to do that since coming here? Because unfortunately, with the fact that you came in and have dealt with injuries, you've served as a, as a partial coach at some point. <laughs> I mean, you came in, you hadn't played, and then you were a corner three games in 12 days. Then you were a coach. Then you were a safety for a bit. So how do you feel like you've been able to, through all those different changes in such a whirlwind experience, 
influence this team no matter what you were doing with it? Well, I mean, you, whatever, whatever you got to do, you know, it, it, whatever you got to do to win. And that's, that's always been my mentality. And, um, you know, if I can't play, then what can I do to, to help guys understand and, and make an impact on the game in that way and make sure guys are prepared, as prepared as they can be? Whatever it takes. If, if it takes playing safety and, and, and trying to stop guys there and make my impact there, I think whatever it takes to win is what I'm willing to do. Do you want to prove you could get an interception at safety and corner? Were you like, I got to have one at all the positions? Right, I told Tom, throw me one, you know, let's get up that line up, throw me a hitch at the line so I can say I've done it everywhere. <laughs> you know, that's my next dream. Well, and speaking of Tom, you went from being a guy that he hated to face and who enjoyed trash talking him to getting recruited by him and playing alongside him. So what has that experience been like and what have you learned about him having played alongside him here now? Well, I mean, we've, we've stayed in communication over the years. You know, I think that's every great rival. Um, you know, you, you got you to gotta keep your friends close and your enemies closer, apparently. Uh, but. Uh, we've had we've we've had a pretty solid relationship, and uh, it, it's been really cool to be a part of his team and and to see the way he prepares, the way he, how seriously he takes it, um, how great of a teammate he is, how much he cares about his teammates, how much he goes out to, out of his way um, to to really connect with everyone. Uh, that's been really refreshing. So finally, what do you think you want your teammates, coaches, people around the Bucks organization to say about you in your time here? Uh, that just that I was a great teammate, you know, I mean, that's all I really care about, you know, is, is doing my part and making sure I'm a great teammate and, and doing my part to help the organization win in, in whatever way I can. And uh, if they say that about you, I think you did a pretty good job.